Hey guys, it's Jay here. Uh, I guess before I get into this, bear with me. Nature is trying to kill me. Even though I love it, it does not love me and everything is spewing pollen and it's starting to mess me up. So I'm gonna be a little phlegmy. Uh, my voice is a little iffy, but I wanted to make a video anyway because it's been a while and I actually have stuff to talk about. The first bit of news, because I can't remember if I've explicitly mentioned it, but I did order Mitsu from Migi in February. Uh, he is a, <coughs> excuse me, Shiho in uh, suntan skin. I got him blank so I could do his face. And um, I'm really excited about this one. Uh, I had to search like high and low to find a sculpt for him because I had initially wanted him to be a DOD code 2, but as we all know, DOD is gone. So uh, when Chronically Space was gonna get Taka, I was like, well crap, now I gotta find another sculpt. Uh, I think I talked about this before, I'm sorry. The same thing happened with Taka, he was gonna be a DOD. And um, that company going under just kind of uprooted some plans we'd had for years. But that's okay. I'm really excited. Hopefully he will ship near the end of this month. It looked like from the list on DOA that it's been about a two month average waiting time. So fingers crossed. But uh, that being said, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, the stuff that's arrived for him. Um, Chronically Spaced was real sweet and actually bought clothes for Mitsu because I had to spend a ton of money getting my poor dog's mouth fixed up. Um, I had to get his teeth clean and he had to have like 10 teeth pulled. And if you own a dog and have been through that, you know it's not cheap at all. So um, what I had had left after ordering Mitsu that was going to go towards his clothes went towards my dog because the dog is obviously more important. But like I said, uh, Chronically Space was real sweet and uh, helped me out. <laughs> and um, the clothes have been slowly trickling in. Um, so let's let's look at what I've gotten so far. Um, from Our Rabbit, there's a sweater, which is so cute. Uh, I actually picked out a pair of pants on Alice's, I think, that has stars on it. I don't know why. I think Mitsu's gonna be all stars, but it just seems to fit him. Mm, personally, I just like it. Um, this is also from Our Rabbit. It's this cute little flannel-ish looking shirt. Uh, it's real soft, it's made really well, and uh, I hope it fits. I had to buy him 70 centimeter size clothes from them, just because when I compared the measurements to the Miki body, the uh, <clears throat> Excuse me, the size below that would have been too small in a bunch of places, so I erred on the side of going too big because at least it'll fit even if it's a little baggy. The Tata's order isn't here yet, but I did get him that stupid lip shirt. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so excited about that stupid lip shirt on Tata's. Um, I'll just link it below just because it's super ridiculous. It's metallic red lips on black and I love it. And I was just like, Mitsu needs this. Um, the real funny thing behind that is, uh, in our story, his boyfriend, Taka, um, just calls him these ridiculously cute, cutesy, childish nicknames, and one of them is Michu. Um, and if you're familiar with Japanese at all, Chu is like a kiss, it's Chu. So Michu will have a kissing lip shirt. <laughs> it's like the ultimate visual pun that I kind of hate myself for. <laughs> And let's see, I also got him some shoes that I'm real nervous about them fitting because they look small, but they're from Kroby and they're super cute. Uh, size wise, I think it'll be okay, especially because these have a little bit of give in them, but I'm real nervous. If uh, they don't fit, I did find a pair on uh, Miggy that I will get instead. They're, they're super shiny and pretty, but they're also 50 bucks, which is why I didn't get them to begin with. I also got him a wig from Kroby. It was the whole point of the Kroby order to begin with. Uh, I had a really hard time picking out a wig for him because his hair changes a lot, and he's modeled after an actor, 
uh, former actor, now uh, Narimiya Hiroki, and his hair changed all the time. So like finding something that really fit, that I liked, in a style that I liked was hard, but I did settle on this one. Uh, yeah, that's the front. I like the uh, black and blonde colors, and I think it'll look really good on his tan skin. The uh, other thing that came in were his eyes from, uh, oh god, I blanked, from Soul in a Box Dolls on Etsy. Uh, I have a video in which I gushed about their eyes. Right. <clears throat> I got him these brown ones in treasure chest. So let me get them out, see if my camera will focus on them. Super pretty, just like the ones I got for Aussie. Great depth, and I think they'll really stand out in his face. So that's all that's come in for Mitsu so far. Um, we, I think, probably space much in this, but we were gonna do box openings, but we were both like, meh. I finally wiped my Dukin space and I've been kind of filming parts of the process of redoing him, but it kind of ran into a weather block. It's just been rainy and misting and gross for like four or five days and I haven't been able to finish his face up. And it's probably not going to let up anytime soon. It's springtime, so it's just going to rain a lot. But here's what I've got so far. All the blushing is done. I just need to do all the line work and the uh, final glossing and he'll be finished. Uh, I might add some piercings too. Um, he seems like he needs some piercings. I mean, he he's dating a badass who's gonna have a ton of tattoos. So he's gotta look right, I don't know. But, um, I also ordered him some eyes from Solana Box Dolls. They have a kind called Lemon Pie that it is bright yellow, and I'm really excited for those to come in. Um, I'm sure they're probably like, why did this person order these right after I sent out the last pair I made, but take all my money. It's fine. The last thing I wanted to talk about was Switch's new release. Um, they put out a new sculpt called Yuzo. It's probably a super Japanese way of me saying it, but whatever. Uh, I saw this guy and it was like when I saw Teo, I uh, like fell in love immediately and he was being released as a raffle sale only and I was like I never win anything but I'll enter anyway just in case and lo and behold I won so <sighs> I ordered him. He'll probably be a floating head for forever because there's other stuff coming up that's not dolls that I want to do. But I'm happy that I was able to purchase him and I'm really excited about it. So, yay! When uh, when he gets done and he gets here, I'll do a proper box opening for him because he's, he's special. Uh, but yeah, that is it for me for now. Um, maybe one day I'll get to finish this space up and then I'll post the utterly ridiculous video I've been making during the whole process. But um, until then, or until, you know, something else, we'll see you next time. Bye. That was stupid. Hey guys, um, just a, a quick update. Um, this evening, while uh, I was just watching TV, um, I got my shipping notice from Mitsu so excited. Uh, I can't exactly show it as much right now because my voice is definitely on its way out. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's funny because like a couple hour, hours ago I was talking about how like maybe I'll ship by the end of the month. That'll be great. And he shipped today. So um, that's awesome. Hopefully he'll be here by the end of the week if I'm lucky. EMS is usually pretty quick. I guess that's why we pay so much for it, right? So, yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to add, so I will see you guys next time. Bye.